I'm Porter. I'm Ayo. How's it going, buddy? Good, you? I'm doing great. I'm Woo. ready to drink some beer. Yes, always. 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 And I think I've got a nice concoction here. Because... I, I've seen some of them there. They're frightening. <laughs> yeah. Frightening. Because and, and funny enough, you know, a good portion of them came in cans. I can't find these in bottles. Nice. And cans seem to be making a comeback, which Apparently. is weird. So. Yeah. But I think I think they'll be fine. They're interesting. Mm -hmm. I looked for labels that we haven't had before, but I'm sure somewhere we we've, we've got a label that we've had before. But no. I can only do so much. It's the United States of America, and yet there's beer over here and beer over there, and we can't get all of it. So it's sad, really. Why can't we get all the beer? It, it doesn't make the trout the trip very well. Apparently not. If you wanted it top quality, which let's face it, we do. We do. No. Well, if somebody could find a way to get us those beers. Uh, we we'll would be, drink them mm -hmm. on air for, for you. you, and we'll be grateful. <laughs> that's a, that's as good as we can do for now. But anyway, let's stop babbling and drink some beer. Yes. Okay, first, we have a jar of peanut butter. No, it's a peanut butter porter by the Back 40 Beer Company. From Gadsden, Alabama. Back for it. I've had them before. PBP Peanut Butter Porter. It's creamy. It's big. It's just what it sounds like. Brewed with crushed peanuts and a malt bill thick enough to slather on some on some bread. Yeah. Peanut Butter Porter belongs on your grocery list right next to the jelly, bananas, and bacon. Oh my god. That would be a combination that I actually want to try at this point. <laughs> Let's see. Comfort food in a can. Back for the beer company. So, is it going to come out like peanut butter? Like, do we have to, like, get a knife? Yeah, I'm a little concerned. Oh, by the way, while he's opening that, look what Porter got us. In beer we trust. Isn't that awesome? These are going to be our new tasting glasses now. And our new slogan. Oh, beer that we drink. Wow. Dark. High carbonation. Mm-hmm. I don't really smell peanut butter. I smell beer. I smell the porter. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I need to. I came straight from work. I smell work. the porter. Is there? I wonder if there's like a jelly. <laughs> oh, oh, a jelly beer. Yes. Like a grape jelly, or even just a grape beer. There's got to be. There has yes, to be. There has to be. A grape. We need to get a grape beer. We need to buy this again. We need to get a beer that's like high in yeast. Mm -hmm. Mix all that together in a boot. Have a PB and J beer. Oh. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cheers. It's not bad. I think the peanut, I, you can taste the peanuts that they were uh, brewed with a little bit stronger than you can smell them. Comes off in the aftertaste. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. So the creaminess that they uh, advertise is definitely there. Oh, yeah. I actually, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this. Really get a lot of the peanut butter at the end. That's it. Once you let it settle a little bit, mm -hmm. it just. But it's not like a pop. It's like no. a. Oh. It's like you just got done eating the sandwich, and the the aftertaste is still mm -hmm. in your mouth. And this one actually is surprising me because, <laughs> to be honest, I thought it was going to be terrible. Mm, but, same here. But hey, I mean, I'm glad that it looks like Jif peanut butter and not a sponsor, and it was good. <laughs> well, surprise, surprise. Next up, we have Little Harpeth Brewing Chicken Scratch American Pilsner. Ooh. Brewed in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, man. Hey, uh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh. Here we are. We craft in the tradition of German lagers, consistent with the beers of pre prohibition Middle Tennesseans. Mm. Our mission is to preserve the past, enjoy the present, and sustain the future of brewing in Nashville, Tennessee. We are dedicated to the improvement of our community, to the quality of our product. We are working hard to give you the beer that you deserve. But if you're not from around here, it's not for you. So it's for us. Anyway, 
it, it was kind of a, an unassuming little can mm. with a chicken on it. And I thought... I like chicken. What the hell? Sure. Pre-prohibition style. I am a little curious, though. What Time mm. machines. I mm. want to go back in time and, and taste beer of the past. Mm. Because you know technology has... <coughs> advance so much in the brewing process mm -hmm. and stuff like that because so, even using the same ingredients the same recipe list mm -hmm. the plants have changed we've modified them the air is different the water is different it's going to taste different yeah so I'm, I'm curious if someone out there has a time machine and could you know teleport us back to the past where we can try beers of the past i don't want to do that mm -hmm. hook yes. us up and it doesn't matter when you want to do it because you got a time machine. Right. So just just <coughs> up anytime you want. Still got the peanut butter taste in my mouth. <laughs> it has it has that taste when I think Pilsner I get that there's a there's a familiarity to it. Mm. It's light. Yeah. It's like a sparkling water. Mm-hmm. There's a beer flavor to it, especially when you start drinking it, but it just fades away so fast, has mm -hmm. no aftertaste, which I guess could be a good thing. Yeah. Like the can. So unassuming. Yeah. You just don't really know what to get, and you're kind of getting... Eh. Next, uh, we have... Elysian Deglo IPA. 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 Okay. Especially I don't know, I don't know if that got picked up on the microphone. <laughs> I sure hope it did. Let's hope. Dayglow crashes the party with this juicy bead of hops, dripping with tropical sunshiny mosaic. And That's a weird phrase. Dripping with tropical sunshiny mosaic. I guess mosaic hops. I I'm going to assume. Because it, it is a capital <laughs> M. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. And sparkling with touches of El Dorado and Centennial. So they found El Dorado and put it in this bottle? <laughs> That's why the tiger's got beams coming out of his eyes. I wonder if the people who brew this have like laser beam tigers that can open their bottles. That would be an awesome pet to have. It would. Oh yeah, do you see? Oh wow. Hoppy. Nice golden amber. Not as citrusy as it made it sound. Too bitter for me personally. I mean, as far as IPAs go, it it does what it sets out to do. Yeah. Uh, I think the bitterness could be a turnoff for a lot of people if you're not into that. Next up on our list is Dark Horse Bourbon Barrel Aged Scotty Karate Scotchy. Scotty Karate. He looks crazy. They don't have anything on their bottle. Of course he's crazy. He's drinking a bourbon, bourbon barrel <laughs> aged scotch ale. Now we have one. had a dark horse in the past. Mm. Uh, don't think I've never lie. been impressed with it. But this one I actually sampled at a, at a beer sh shop where I was shopping for our show one day. And they just happened to have samples. And I said, sure, let me try it. I thought it was pretty good. But that was fresh. Uh, mm. This has been sitting for a while. I, it could be something completely different. Looks like somebody took some wheat coffee and added just a splash of milk to it. With the smell. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pungent. <laughs> that's, that's a good word for it. Pungent. There's a lot of smells going on in there, but if you can get to the deep, oh, man. parted root of it, there's bourbon in there. You can smell it. You yeah. just got to wade through all the other stuff. <laughs> Track record around here. About 80-20. <laughs> I will say that. Maybe 90-10. Okay. <laughs> well, no time like the present. All right. <sighs> Woo. It has a almost a caramely flavor to it. But in a bad way, like mm. a sour caramel. And really not a lot of bourbon flavor. Mm. I guess more on the back end, but not, not even that really. It's almost like <sighs> that heavy alcohol need a feeling in your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's um, like most bourbon barrel. It's an acquired taste. Which I haven't acquired. <laughs> um, it is smooth. It's just... It's Pungent. It's, yeah, it's the aftertaste and yeah. the taste itself. It's just so... Mm. Mm. Uh, 
Next, we have Imperial Porter. No Brewing Company. Brewed in the traditional British style, this beer is big, bold, and rich with hints of dark, bittersweet chocolate, both in color and sweetness, and a malty roasted flavor. Brewed and canned by New Orleans Lager and Ale Brewing Company. New Orleans. Well, let's see if the Cajuns know what they're doing. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a smell. That's a bitter smell. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to compare this to. Almost like opening up one of that the dry powdered Hershey <laughs> powder that yes. you make hot cocoa with and just smell that. Just, just snorting some of that. <laughs> 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 not, not the darkest. You can get a little light yeah, out we've, of that. We've, but... we've had beer on the show that the light wouldn't make through. Mm. There was an entire show about that. Go find it. Yeah. All right, well. Okay. Oh, no. Ugh. What is that? I don't, oh, I don't know. That is just. It tastes like grass. <laughs> Not that I go around eating grass, you... but there's, there's seriously like a plant, <sighs> grass, and I know cocoa's a plant or cacao. Not to mention hops. And hops. I understand these things. I'm not stupid. I'm just saying it tastes like Man. grass. Ugh. 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 That's all I got. Is this is this payback for last video? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You didn't even didn't even pretend to deny it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right, lastly, we have Tall Grass Brewing Company. I know we've had them before. Strawberry Shortcake. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ale brewed with strawberries. Um, no, nothing on it other than strawberry shortcake. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh. Fresh beer equals best beer. Ooh. Please keep refrigerated and consumed by date on the bottom of the can. Hey, we're, oh, oh boy. This is gonna be fun. This is expired. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. It says drink by two, three, eighteen. Look. Okay. I don't think they can see that. Well, we'll hope that you got to say. I'm. I'm not. I'm not joking. This is expired. God damn it. <laughs> so if it's bad, we know why. Maybe one of these others have been five sixteen. Okay. I had to check it. It was yeah. so bad. So we're not gonna know what a fresh strawberry shortcake tastes like we're tasting it two three weeks late damn it i gotta i gotta yell at the store now you know i don't know why i expected this to be red smell that it smells like the little nuggets of strawberry flavor okay. you get in the uh oatmeal packets when i stuck my my nose in here i smelled vomit we've had this problem before okay <laughs> Maybe it was the initial <laughs> thought, like, this is already spoiled. This is going to be nasty. Gonna be nasty. My, my brain just work. said it's going to smell like vomit. So you just go ahead and plan for that. Now I'm smelling the strawberries. I had to kick it around a little bit. <laughs> Maybe it was a uh, subliminal yeah, it must have been from, the exp from your knowledge of the expiration date. Does it taste like strawberry? For you guys. <laughs> Expired. Wow. Oh my god. I think, again, we're mentally prepared for just terrible because it's... Expired. So we'll have to get a fresh one and try it sometime. Yeah, but this... It's no good. Yeah. But that's not too bad. It's at least within the same month. Yeah. The other day I bought a, bo I bought a bottle of uh, Bloody Mary mix. Because mm -hmm. I'm too lazy to make my own. <laughs> Uh, and it had been expired for two years. Oh my god! Right? And the guy, I, 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 I talked to the guy about it, and he was like, "Oh, it should be fine." And I'm like, are, "Are you are you kidding me? <laughs> it's 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 tomato juice. It's been expired for two years. This pro stuff has probably already started fermenting itself." Ugh. God. So I'm not I'm not shopping there anymore. There's a soda that that reminds me of. It's like a diet strawberry crush. Yeah. There you go. There's all the sugar's been taken out of it, and it's just, but you got the strawberry flavor. And I'm going to assume, just for assumption's sake, that these probably suck normally <laughs> because no one's buying them, and that's why the expired ones are on the shelf. 
So, uh, if you may remember two episodes ago, we had a special guest here, and she brought along with her uh, a couple of beers from Boston, and this is one that she picked out specifically for Porter. So, he wanted to try it. He, I gave it to him, you know, weeks ago, but he said, no, I want to try it here. On, on video. And, yeah. and get the initial reaction. So, we're going to try this one. This will not go into us. No, because this, it, this will be enjoyed. All right. Oh, I like that. Mm. It's it's mellow, but it's got a little bit of bitterness to it. Nice mm -hmm. complexity. Definitely has the coffee uh, grounds mm. going for it, but then mm. me, I kind of swish it around and you can kind of get that hint of chocolate just kind of washing around with it. Oh, I like this. And just so you guys know, I'm drinking this at room temperature because that's how I prefer my beer. The beauty of, of difference here. You mm -hmm. know? So thank you, Hops. Yes, thank you so much. I, I love it. Frankenbeer I'm just, uh, I'm terrified. Yeah. Because I just don't, uh, first of all, it's just, it's full. <laughs> to the brim. And like, literally to the brim. It's this. It's this that's scaring me because we've never seen this part of Das Boot be black. Yeah. So it's just like, ha, 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 ha. I'm going to kick you. <laughs> But it should be relatively smooth. Right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. We don't know how they're going to blend. Yeah. I mean, we got some interesting flavors in there. Expired strawberry. Oh, God, yeah. Shortcake and peanut butter. Mm hmm. Uh, Rochambeau. Okay. <laughs> Shit. We could do that again if we tried. Shit. <laughs> Careful. So I'm assuming I'm going first. I want to see how... Because I feel like it'll go down fine. We're not going to get with carbonation. It's going to be the amount of flavor. flavor. <laughs> I mean, and the fact that it's dark, you know, it, it's going to sit heavy. So it's going to be one of those two factors. It, it won't be carbonation by any means. The strawberry, peanut butter, chicken. You're not helping. I'm You're not I'm helping. i come up with a name for it and I've got nothing. <laughs> it's a boot. It's it's gonna taste like a boot, boot. like they all do. Mm -hmm. Careful now. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, that is good. God, <laughs> that is heavy. That is. Oh, you got the rim. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Oh, that aftertaste. Oh, that aftertaste. Oh, just that bad, huh? Oh, that aftertaste. You got the rim. Okay. Uh, well, that just, that helps me get through this. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll have another turn. Okay. It's heavy. Oh, yep. Oh, it is heavy. You got more than I did, though, so. You got to the bottom, you got heavy. Did you taste that aftertaste? Ugh. Yeah, there it is. Right? What was that? <laughs> right? What is oh, that? I don't know. I think it's the strawberry mixed with the peanut butter. Yeah, the strawberries. Ah! Oh. It's part of that. It's, can... it's so bad. Oh. I'm not, I don't know if I could touch that again. Do you, are you going to go again? Yeah, I'm going to go again. Because uh, this, this boot's getting cleared before the video's over. Mm. Like, if you guys haven't tried a boot, you got to try a boot. It's, it's awful. It's, it's a challenge. <laughs> I mean, it's a great way to get drunk fast, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're doing it wrong. <laughs> we are. We, we, we're terrible at this. Like, just awful. What are we doing? <laughs> Nope. He, he, he was almost nope. there. Almost there. It's just so... Uh, Here we go. I'm going to hit that foot. Uh, <sighs> suck on that toe. 
I have a foot fetish, you know. <laughs> this is sexy. <laughs> Suck that toe. I got I'm a little sorry. bit of I'm mouth. sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I got a little bit of my mouth, so I'm already getting that taste. Damn it. Uh, oh. Okay. All right. Now here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> God, oh, come on, oh. come on now. This oh. is serious. I gotta get this foot down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, can't uh, get that foot down. I gotta get it down. This yep. is no more laughing. This laughing, smiling, having good time. Shit's gonna stop. <laughs> yes, no, no good. T um, <sighs> can't speak. I tried again. It was awful. <laughs> I it. Huh? Mm. Mm. Yay! Ah. Oh god. Yeah, that's what I felt. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, the burps from it. Ah. Well, that is awful. Yeah. We're spirit so far? Yeah, because the aftertaste is just, it, uh, yeah, it's still there. Whew. Oh, All right, well, man, that is our show. Yes, that was fun that was and awful, but fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you like our show and you want to support us even further, go to patreon.com slash pencil and paper productions. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, there's a little button down there and you can just press that and you'll be subscribed. There's also a video right here that you can watch. That's our last video that we did. And then the one down here is probably another thing that we did some time ago. Maybe not us, but you know, it's from the channel. I'm Porter. I'm Ale. We drank some beer. And we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>